Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to advertise multiple MDNS services and also how to discover or how to query multiple MDNS uh, services. As target board I'm going to be using two Firebit boards from DF Robot, one of them acting as a service provider and the other acting as a service inquirer. So, uh, this tutorial will be, I'll try to make it short because it needs to be very similar to the previous one uh, where we explain how to advertise a service and how to do um, to query it uh, using both um, as a provider and as a query SP32 devices. Here I just wanted to make it clear that uh, it's a possibility for us to expose more than one um, network services because and it makes sense the SP32 is quite a powerful microcontroller and thus it might make for sense for some architectures that we can expose more than one service and I wanted to illustrate here uh, this possibility. But in essence the code will be pretty uh, much similar to what we covered before so I'm going to jump right into it. So like before we start by the library includes we need the mdns.h and wifi.h one to uh, handle the things related to the SP32 mdns uh, service advertisement and the other to connect the SP32 to the Wi-Fi network again we need to define here the network credentials uh, so we can connect the SP32 to it in the setup we are going to start with the usual opening a serial connection and then connecting the SP32 to the Wi-Fi network and from this point onward, we are able to start configuring uh, our MDNS services. The first thing we need to do, and this is the code uh, of the service provider, uh, is initializing um, or setting up the MDNS responder with a call to this begin method and passing as input hostname. And this will be the hostname used by this uh, device. And basically, we can reach its services on this ASP32 hostname. From this point onward, uh, in order for us to add the service, like we have seen before, we just need to call the add service method on the MDNS external variable, passing as first input the name of the service, a second input the protocol uh, on which it runs, and a third and last uh, parameter, an integer with the port, the network port on which um, the service is exposed. Like before, we are doing here uh, registering a possible HTTP uh, service, so we are advertising it uh, over MDNS. And now, if we want to add other service, for example, let's say an NTP uh, service where we provide this information, uh, we simply need to call again this method on the MDNS extern variable and follow exactly the same steps, passing the name of the service, the protocol over which it runs, here I'm using UDP, and then the port, the network port over which it is exposed. Naturally, it makes sense for us to uh, expose different services, um, and this works pretty well for that scenario. Uh, that's it, very simple, so no, no special tricks here, just registering um, the additional services we want, and they will be uh, advertised independently, and they can be, um, they can be queried uh, independently. To finalize, we're just printing here the local IP address to do the same exercise as before, and making sure that we get on the, on the SP32 that is doing the query, that we get the correct IP address, we should be this one. Now from the side of the uh, ASP32 that is doing the query, code is pretty much the same. Here library includes and uh, the definition of the global variables. Here we are going to, uh, to jump in a minute to this function, but in essence it's just a function and utility uh, since we are now going to query two different services in order to not be repeating all the code. I've just defined here um, a function that receives uh, the service name and the service protocol and does this uh, query, but we'll get to the details in a minute. So, uh, the rest of the code here in the setup function will be again very similar, like before, uh, opening serial connection, connecting the SP32 to the uh, Wi-Fi network using the credentials defined above, and then calling this MDNS init function. This will take care of setting up MDNS without having to provide here a host name because this device is not exposing any service. Uh, so we don't need to provide the host name here explicitly. So we just uh, initialize the MDNS and then we can start to query uh, services. As I was saying before, I've defined this query service function just as an utility that basically receives as input 
and the name of the service and the protocol over which it runs, which basically defines the service type. Um, and it will print under the hood, it will just, in its implementation, it will print the information of that, uh, first, before the information, the number of services of this type that were found, and then the information about the service. And as you can see here, I'm doing that for the HTTP over TCP uh, service and the NTP over UDT service, which matches obviously the ones that we have defined uh, in the ASP32 that is acting as a service provider. Looking really fast to the implementation of the query service function, uh, so the first thing we are doing here is printing, uh, just for illustration, what is uh, the name and the protocol of the service that we are inquiring at this moment, so we can clearly identify. Just as a note, um, if you guys haven't came across this, but basically the serial object also exposes a printf function that allows us to format um, to format our strings using the rules of the printf, just as a side note, and I'm using it here to reduce the number of serial print calls that I need to do, and just formatting this uh, string to include both the name and the protocol. Then we are going to query the actual service with this query service method on our MDNS variable, passing as input uh, the name and the protocol that were provided to our utility function. Out as output, it returns the number of services found for this service type. And like before, we check if at least one service was found. If not, if zero services were found, we print this message. So the user knows that simply no uh, services were found. Otherwise, we are going to print the number of services found. And then we are going to iterate over uh, these services and printing the host name, the IP address, and the ports using the, the methods that have names matching uh, these parameters that we want to obtain. And each of these methods returned, uh, receives as input uh, the current uh, index of the service that we are uh, trying to obtain the information. Keep in consideration that the queries to service types are independent. So first, as you saw, I'm uh, querying HTTP service. So uh, since I only have one ASP32 running on my network exposing uh, or uh, advertising this service, the total return here should be one independently of uh, if there are other services of other types, in our case NTP being also advertised, but we are querying specifically HTTP over TCP and it should, should just return one in my scenario because I just have one, um, one ASP32 advertising this service. Same goes for uh, NTP, obviously since I only have one device, this um, count here should only return one. And that's it. The code, again, as I said before, it's pretty much the same that we have done in the previous tutorial. So we are going now to check the results. I've already uploaded the code to my SP32. Let me just rerun it. So as you can see, it's already connected. It is doing first a query to the HTTP over TCP service, then NTP over UDP. Naturally, the queries take uh, a bit, some seconds. And as you can see here, in both cases, just found one service of uh, the given type, like expected. So one HTTP over TCP service, host name ASP32, like we saw before, same IP address and same ports uh, that we were expecting. Again, for the NTP over UDP, same host name, same IP address. The port is also different from the, the, the one of the other service, uh, but is the one that we have defined in the in the service advertiser code. Uh, that's it, very simple. Again, just wanted to illustrate here that we can do this so you guys can play around with more than a uh, single service being exposed uh, by your device. Uh, for As for the code, it's really similar to what we have seen before. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you, hope you have enjoyed. If so, please subscribe it for uh, more videos. Also, uh, please make sure to go through my blog. It has a lot of written tutorials about the SP32, SPA266, also programming um, in other languages. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a nice day.